Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome back to Train Simulator 2020. Today we're going to be back on the Miami CSX route. I'm going to be doing a tri-rail scenario today with the F40 PHL-2 called Shuffle to the Shuffle. Uh, we're going to take it from Fort Lauderdale Airport and finish at the Terminus Station, Halea Market. Um, computers will be shuttled on a bus down to the Miami International Airport. And I'm assuming because it's not open as of yet to rail traffic. So let's go ahead and hop in the scenario and see what it's all about. Alright, so Engineer, you have just arrived at Fort Lauderdale, Fort Lauderdale Airport. Halfway through your service today. Terminus for this service will be at Halea Market. Let's go ahead and close out of that right there. So, I guarantee you they want us to open up our doors here. Which is probably what they want us to do. Alright, there's an Amtrak. Silver Meteor, Silver Star, one of the two. Hot balling through. Looks super, super nice through the cab of this F40 PHL-2 locomotive. So there we go, timeliness bonus. Let's go ahead and hot ball out of here. We also have the Surfliner horn on this train as well as the previous F40 we did. But this comes standard with the game. It's a DLC as well as the F40 that we used last time in the last episode was a actual mod for the game. So this actually does use the Surfliner horn unfortunately. But a lot of you guys might say that, Adrian, you just used an F40PH in your last episode. What gives? I thought you want to do variety and stuff like that. Well, this one was actually a request from Ultra Rye Film Studios. He wanted me to do a tri-rail uh, video. So that is what we are doing today. And I figured we've never done tri-rail before either. So might as well do something new. And stuff like that. Which, I mean, tri-rail does look pretty good with their... Um, Whatchamacallit, with their locomotives and stuff, and their, uh, uh, different, um, whatchamacallit, different, like, rolling stock and stuff like that. So I figured, why not do something different today? And I mean, it does look nice, even though we don't actually have logos today, unfortunately. But, I was actually going to throw in a couple different things. But you know how dovetail, like, default dovetail scenarios are. They don't like you replacing stuff on them and whatnot, so. But yeah, that's basically the reasoning for that. Um, I did have a couple different repaints to put in, but I didn't have a chance to put them in, unfortunately. I had a couple different engines from J Designs TS and a couple different cars and other different stuff from uh, Chris and Gier's Paint Shed, which have a lot of awesome repaints for this game and stuff like that. But we are coming up on Sheridan here in about a mile. On a clear indicator here, we really knocked down our engine it's horsepower from notch 8 all the way to notch 3. Running a 5 car train here today. What it looks like. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Tri-rail 635. Here we go. But yeah, um, if you guys are enjoying the video, do make sure you hit the like button. As well as that subscribe button with the bell icon. And make sure you guys follow me on all the social media as well. Greatly appreciate if you guys would. Everything is linked down in the description down below for you guys. So you guys want to check them out, go for it. So we got a CSX train coming through over here. So let's go and shut off them ditch lights so we don't end up blinding him. And I know from previously playing this um, locomotive and this DLC, the brakes on it are very shoddy. So we do want to be weary of that, that the brakes on it do, the brakes are not as, I want to say, fast as a regular um, train. So we do want to keep that in mind, that it does take longer for the brakes on this locomotive to kick in and stuff like that. So we do want to keep that in mind. Especially running a five car train today, we don't want to overshoot our station stop at all. Looks like Hollywood's next. We're going to be following an Amtrak train, seems like. It's going to get the engine off the platform here. I'm going to get the cab car on the platform. Nope, cab car will not be on the platform. 
the engine will be and the first. So the second car is not going to open. The third car is going to open. Fourth car, fifth car is not. I'm not sure why the second car is not opening. That's kind of weird. I don't know. I do not know. Let's go ahead and turn that into there because we are actually kind of early. We're supposed to be here at 22. We arrived at 21. And we're supposed to depart at 24. Alright, so we have departed back there at Sheridan. Next stop is Hollywood. We'll be coming up there, and like I said, we're going to the market area there. Halea Market. Should make for a fun trip, for sure. So looks like we're actually going to be early into Hollywood as well, which is going to be good. Because supposedly we're there at 28 to 29. We'll be there about 28 or so. So we'll see as we're coming up to a 45 here on the line. Coming into Hollywood. It is a quiet zone it looks like. So that's always a fun time. Definitely always a fun time here as we look at the rear end of our train. For sure, for sure. Alright. So we're at about 44. I'm going to start reducing the throttle there to zero. Turn on the bell there so that we got our crossing protected. So let's go ahead and start slowing this baby down. Let's go ahead and turn off the ditch lights there so we don't end up blinding that other engineer that's coming towards us. There we go. Looks like it's going to be another tri-rail service, possibly. Let's go ahead and release the brake there because we're slowing down rapidly. Yeah, it's a tri-rail facing the opposite direction. Interesting. I wonder why that is. Unless it's like an express or a special, but I don't see why it would be facing the opposite direction if it's a special. I don't know, but he's 636 and we're 635. I don't know. I have no idea. Here we are coming into Hollywood. All right. Not Hollywood, California. Hollywood, Florida. Let's go ahead and stop right here. Perfect. See if we can make it right before 28, which I think we will. And right on the dot at 28. All right. Here we go. So we're going to be here for a while, too, it seems like. Not quite sure, though, but I believe we will be. All right. So we can depart. Hollywood here. I probably should have not done that since this is a quiet zone. But oh well. It'll be alright. I'm going to turn on our headlight there. I didn't realize we had it all turned off all the way. Alright. Not going to be sounding the horn for the crossing since it is a quiet zone crossing. So it looks like we're going to be right on the dot at our next scheduled stop of 37.50 is when we're supposed to be there. And 37.42 is when we're going to be, is our estimated arrival time. So it looks like we're going to be like right on the dot arriving at that station. But yeah, like I was saying, I've never done tri rail before and I got a request for it. So I figured, hey, let's go ahead and do some tri rail Get back on the old Miami subdivision before I start showing off some other, um, Roots that I found on the workshop and all that fun stuff. I actually, I'm not going to go into detail about what I found. But there's some new roots and some old roots that I've recently located and put into my game. So I'm super excited about showing those off as well. Um, possibly going to be showing those off as streams for the most part. 
because I kind of want to do like a whole root showcase and not just, you know, a video where it's like half the root and all that fun stuff. So definitely for sure going to be doing that. And then I got some old roots as well to be showing off for the most part. So stay tuned for all of those as well as just a whole bunch of other different mods and everything like that. So hopefully you guys are staying tuned for those and making sure that those videos are going to be at the top of your priority list. Don't want to call it a priority list, but I'm hoping that you guys will be show checking out those videos as well. And thank you guys for all the continued support on all the videos. Even all the previous ones, I do want to thank you guys so much for all the support and everything on there. I do appreciate it a lot, and it does mean a lot to me that you guys do, you know, support the channel and support all the videos and stuff like that. So I just want to give a huge shout out to all you guys. As well as I just want to mention that there is a Patreon. I, or I, I am on Patreon, where you guys can... Uh, have a special tier. It's a $5 a month tier, so it's $5 a month. Uh, that's all you get to pay. And you guys get some uh, exclusive, like, uh, you get an exclusive role in the Discord. You guys get at early access to certain videos to where you guys will get them first if you're, the if you're on the Patreon. And then YouTube will get them, like, two, three weeks later. As well as you guys also will get, like, exclusive videos as well to Patreon that will go on YouTube like two months later so it'll be like um there's exclusive early access to videos and then there's exclusive patreon only videos as well for a few months basically so it, it kind of doesn't make sense but then also we got video requests will be done ahead before everybody else which would be awesome so if you guys have like let's say you're on the patreon you guys say okay you want to do an amtrax over star all right well your request will be done before anybody else does especially if they comment on youtube and stuff like that so so I want to let you guys know that that option is out there and available. You guys don't have to do it, but just giving you guys the option there. Coming through some more quiet zones here through the uh, Miami route. Very nice. Very, very nice. I kind of wish that you these cabs were more like, um, what's the word, operational? So you can like open windows and stuff like that. But I know that they're not, unfortunately. But yeah. So we're going to be going to Golden Glades, and then we've got Opalaka, Metro Rail Transfer Station, and then the market. All right, so I'm assuming you guys saw that uh, diverging a pro or approach diverging signal back there. So we're gonna be coming up to a approach signal. It looks like over here, possibly. No, that's not us, is it? Yep, we are on an approach. It looks like so it was an advance approach. So we'll start slowing her down to about 45. So we're probably gonna be hitting that Amtrak uh, service here soon. Probably gonna be hitting that Amtrak gonna be following him a little bit seems like so we are hitting an approach signal here at Golden Glades so yeah that'll be fun oh now we're back to an advanced approach so we're going to be fall so we're basically are following that Amtrak service that ended up overtaking us for the most part so I guess he gets the higher priority whereas we just get shit on basically but that is all right. We are the commuter. He is the faster train because we stop at all the stations and they do not. So it looks like we're going to be opening doors on the left-hand side over here. A little bit of a different twist. I don't I don't remember Golden Glades being on the opposite side. I remember Opalaka being the weird one. But not Golden Glades. But oh well. Oh well. You got to do what you got to do. I really wish I threw in the uh, tri-rail... Uh, passenger cars. I might end up doing that one day and making like a nighttime scenario with them. Like a nighttime express run or something like that or like a deadhead move for the most part. I might end up doing that. I don't know though. We'll see. We will see. But yeah, I do want to end up showing off the new tri-rail stuff that I've downloaded as well as the new coaster stuff. Um, Metrolink. All that fun stuff. I've got a whole bunch of different mods downloaded for this game. 
and I'm excited to be showing it off. We're going to start slowing down here. Coming into Golden Glades. All right. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Track one. It's a very short platform, so we're going to have to keep that in mind. Try to get the locomotive off of our platform here. All right. See if we can get all five cars on without the locomotive. I doubt it, though, but we'll see. Oh. All right, we got the first car off the platform, but that's all right. Hell, who knows? Maybe it'll still open. No. Get that. We don't block no, that CSX freighter out there, that gondola train. Interesting. I've never seen a full train of nothing but gondolas before. That's weird. That is super interesting. Never have I seen that in my entire life before. Until now. Alright, so we were a little bit late into this one. But it's alright. I ain't too worried about it. Because we're going to be late into our next stop as well if we don't start getting on the move here. But that's alright. It's alright. I'm noticing that the when you put the ditch lights to flash, it has a, like, um, it's delayed a little bit. I'm not sure if that's how it actually is on Tri-Rail, or if that's just something the game is mechanic to. But it does have a few second delay from when you actually turn it to flash to when the lights actually start flashing. Looks like we're departing on another advance approach signal. So that's always a fun time. Hopefully it'll upgrade to a clear here before we end up passing it. So we've got point eleven miles to clear it. Hopefully it turns into a clear. I doubt it though. Late clear, late clear, late clear. No. Damn. So close. So close to hitting a clear. Alright, so we're coming into Opalaka here. Got a bunch of crossings here that come before the station stop that are not quiet zones, thankfully. So we can actually sound the horn here. Don't pay attention to the points there. I screwed up a little bit. Wasn't paying attention to the uh, speed, lim speed limit. And we ended up losing some points on speeding. But that is all my fault because I was not paying attention to the speed limiter. I was actually paying more attention to... Uh, trying to do a corn sequence for that crossing there and I forgot that the 45 was coming up so I was like well shit all right so here we go Amtrak I want to make sure we sound the horn for this crossing here there we go there we go let's go ahead and make those ditch lights flash a little bit for the station stop here. Alright, here's Opalaka. So I guess it wasn't Opalaka. I guess it was the other one that we was the weird one. I thought it was this sta station stop. Huh, interesting. So this is where the brakes come in. We're trying to get the first car off the platform. I'm not on emergency brake, but okay. So we got three cars off the platform so we have the last two cars on the platform this one was an Adrian mistake because I screwed up completely on this one so this one y'all can blame on Adrian it's not release it just yet so we got this one we got two more station stops and then we are good to um, get off the locomotive here and head on down to wherever we gotta go so that'll be fun, for sure. I kind of wish you can turn on these class lights, unless they're not class lights anymore. I guess they're not class lights anymore. They're probably uh, just covered up. I don't know, though.
All right, finally going to be getting some horn action here at these crossings. Been wanting to show off the horn for a while now. All right, we finally got some horn. Finally, finally, finally I got some horn on this route. For the first time. Ended up hitting the wrong but or hitting the wrong button on the keyboard there. But yeah, looks like we're gonna be done with whistle post here for a little bit. Uh, we're coming down to a 40 here, coming into the Metro Rail Transfer Station track number one. Uh, looks like I've got another advanced approach. So we're just gonna be riding them yellow signals the rest of the way, it seems like. Which ain't the worst thing in the world. I mean, as long as they're not approaches or restrictings, I'm cool with it, because that means we have to actually slow our train down. But we are coming up on a 40 anyway, so it's not like it really actually matters what we do for the most part. But we are coming up to that 40 here in about half a mile. So I'm hoping this signal will turn to a clear before we end up clearing it, or knocking it down basically. And maybe, 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 maybe. Still advanced approach. Not looking good. Still an advanced approach. And we're going to knock it down as an advanced approach. All right. Yep. So let's go ahead and set the brakes here a little bit so we get it down to 40 so we don't lose any more points than we already are. Because Adrian screwed up the first time. But here we go. That 40 right there. That 40 sign. We are coming into a yard here it looks like. like we're coming into Miami I believe this is the entrance to Miami yard I believe I'm not 100% certain though or this thought might be some other yard I don't know let's see where we're at on the map so this is going to be the Halea yard Halea Haya, however you want to pronounce it so yeah looks like it is the correct um The, uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, the Amtrak's yard and all that fun stuff. So it looks like it is. But we're just going to be traveling here on the main line. Down on through. Can't tell if that's a crossing or not. I don't think it is. Be a weird spot for a railroad crossing for sure. Nope, it's not. Okay. I was like, that would be a very weird spot for a railroad crossing for sure. I think Tri-Rail has a yard here too as well because I know CSX is over here. I think Amtrak's like way far out back that way. I'm pretty sure, unless I'm thinking of the wrong yard, because I know it said that it'll take a shuttle down to the um, Miami airport or whatever it is. Yeah, commuters will be shuttled on a bus down to Miami International Airport. So yeah, this is the proper yard that we went to. But it is empty for some unknown reason, which is kind of a shock unless it's not even used anymore. I don't know. Kind of weird that it's just a big yard right here and it's empty. And that's just kind of strange. A little bit strange to me. Alright, so in about half a mile we'll be at the Metro Rail Transfer Station. Uh, looks like we're going to be on another advanced approach out of here. Or two advanced approaches, it looks like. No, that's just the one advanced approach. So let's see if we can maybe get a clear before we knock down the signal, but I doubt it. Nope, we won't. Knocking down the same way we did the last one, advanced approach. All right. So we got a whistle post coming in after the station. Just a random siding that goes into the, st to the edge of the station there. No, I no, don't really understand what that's for. It's a random siding, probably for like bad ordered cars or something like that. Dude standing on the edge of the yellow line there. I think we were good. Yeah, we didn't hit him or nothing, but dude's a retard. Dude was definitely a retard doing that shit. 
And I wasn't paying attention because I was more paying attention focusing on that guy. We ended up running two different um, stations here. And the same thing, got the last two cars on the platform, which is not a bad, bad big deal. I ain't too worried about it. But yeah, we've got another advanced approach coming out of this station here, it looks like. And then we'll be, um, yeah, at the market will be the last station stop there. So it looks like we're actually running, yeah, we are running a little bit late, but that's all right. I ain't too worried about it. Trains are usually always late in real life, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Look at that departing. That just looks nice. I love these units right here. I don't really remember this paint scheme for Tri-Rail. I know their other, like, newer one. But I don't recall this one, so this must be, like, an older one. If I do recall correctly. But here we are coming on a diamond, it looks like. Not sure what we're going to be meeting here, but we are uh, meeting other railroad or something over here. I'm not quite sure what it is, though. Who knows? Who knows? But looks like we got another... We're going to be knocking it down on an advanced approach. We got another crossing coming up here as well somewhere. I haven't been out this way before. I don't think, because I don't recall ever going to this station here. So I don't think I've ever been out this way before. Man, if I was an engineer, like a real-life rail engineer, I would be laying on that horn so much for rail fanners and, like, crossing and stuff that you guys would know exactly who's driving that train just by how the horn's being blown and everything. That would be me. Of course, I would stick it to, like, FRA standards and stuff like that, but when I see a rail fanner, I'll be doing shaving haircuts no matter where I'm at, even in, well, I don't want to say I'll do it in a quiet zone, but for sure I'll be giving shaving and haircuts to every rail fan that I see. And I'll be doing like very long sequences for crossings, kind of like I do here. I know a lot of engineers do. It's supposed to be too long, one short, one long. And then a lot of engineers don't do it for too long, but I'll be doing it for like this long. Clear the crossing, shut the bell off. You know, standard protocol for all that fun stuff. But yeah, I've never actually been out this way before on this route. This is the first time, and this route's been out for a while, so I'm kind of surprised that I haven't like seen it in all its glory yet. But we got another crossing coming up over here. Got some pipe, um, uh, whatchamacallit. Some stuff going on over here. Some, like, uh, manufacturing and stuff like that of steel pipes. And all that fun stuff. It's kind of cool. Very, very cool. But, yeah, as long as this route's been out, I have not been out this way before. Kind of weird. And I'm kind of trying to figure out what those camera, like, glitches are that I've been having this entire, uh, trip. Never seen those in the game before, and up until I started using this locomotive. I don't know. I don't know. Random siding here as well. It just kind of ends. Uh, we're going to be coming into Hylia Market on a approach signal, it looks like. I think I do see that Amtrak just in front of us over there. If you guys can kind of see it a little bit out farther away. There is that Amtrak service, so he does go out this way. For sure. We are running on an approach. We are coming up on a 20, so I'm going to start slowing down for that so we don't get points nicked out. Because I don't need to be losing points anymore. We're already at 298, and we're already going to be screwed on uh, this game, or on this station. So, that was my fault the first time for doing that. So, here we are on a 20. Probably the slowest speed limit you'll get on this route. Really weird place crossing as well. That backed up cars right there. Same thing on that side. They're backed up completely, man. So we got this like little yard over here. Not sure if this is supposed to be like FEC or if it's CSX. 
No, my PC is sex because it all ends, and then that one, yeah, that one ends too, so I don't know. Weird, weird, weird. Then you got your manufacturing district on this side over here. Turns into a, almost a triple track for the most part, and then it just kind of goes back down to two. Yeah, I've never been out this way before. It looks like this is going to be a quiet zone as well. Or either quiet zone or multiple, I don't know. But yeah, I wonder if there's anything out that way. So it does go down to the airport, but we can't go down to the airport. Which I don't understand. If it goes down to the airport, why can't we go down to the airport? Because I do see that Amtrak service stopped over there. I don't know. I don't know. Man, that's a loud horn. I love it, though. I do love it. Alright, so this will be our last station stop, ladies and gentlemen. Um, let's see if maybe we can end up going out there and seeing what's actually out here. So we got some crossing as well. Got some more crossing, a switch. And yeah, there is a station here, so I'm not quite sure why we have to be bused. And this is pretty much the end of the line for everybody. Weird. Construction is still underway at Miami International Airport. For now, Halea Marco will be the terminus station for local services. Passengers will be shuttled to the Miami International by bus. That's weird, but the Amtrak made it through just fine, but yet we can't. That doesn't make any sense, but you know, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you guys did by hitting the like button as well as that subscribe button. As well as follow me on all the social media and join the Discord server. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.